Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Good morning. How many other people around the world get this service? How many services do we know? <laughs> Just the one. Huh? Not only is there a, and a chocolat and a nice croissant, bruh. How fat are always. you trying to make me too? Uh, <laughs> You're lovely. Thank you so much. Are you enjoying the workshop? Who wouldn't? I'm keeping well out of the way, but within hearing distance. <laughs> bye bye, Marie. Bye. Have a fantastic holiday. I like your holiday look. Why My you goodness, look you look gorgeous. Thank you very much. Bye, Selma. Bye. See you in three, more or less than three weeks. And you'll bring Antoine back with you and we'll oui. open presents. Yes, a lot. <laughs> and we will look after your rabbit. Oh, yes, please. It's the first time you've trusted we us with that rabbit. We want the, the paw paws facing, facing down. down. No. Okay, that's the instruction. That's just the paws order. facing down. <laughs> Have you got it, Selma? Got it. The <laughs> rabbit's paws must be facing down at all times. <laughs> got it, got it. Bye. 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 Well, I'm sad. Less than three weeks. Marie, I'm going to follow you back in. You can show me what glorious things you've been up to. I'm just making a bouquet. Really? I would never have guessed. <laughs> I like your little film studio. Can I show your setup here? Yes, you can. This is where Marie makes her vlog, Florals with Marie, which you can find on YouTube. Yes, you can. And obviously it's brilliant. Thank you. It's like you've made yourself a carpet of rose petals. <laughs> Don't film that. Can't you come and do that in my bedroom as well? No, I genuinely like it. It's oh, great. Right. Okay. I'll just scrape this up. <laughs> and you can have it. <laughs> Well, I better let you get on with filming your video. Yay. Looks gorgeous. Nearly done. Let's see this bit going in. There we go. And where are they from? These are from the vegetable garden. Are that the fen fennel? Oh, I don't know. I'm not actually. sure. That's the only thing I it's don't know. A little know bit what like the shape of the old fennel, possibly from last yeah. year. But I, got I'm not sure. Sage. That's gorgeous. I, I love the colour of sage. Uh, me too, and it smells quite nice. And I got mint here. From the garden, these flowers. Mm, beautiful. I was just about to walk out and I noticed that the light that Selma and I went to collect from Florence near Paris has been put up in here by Ian. Ian the electrician. <laughs> Ian who is living with us, Ian. And I love it in this room. Imagine when we get the ceiling done properly yeah. and we have that hanging down on a nice chain yeah. and there's the matching one that can go on this side of the room. They're going to look great. Yeah, I think so too. And for special occasions, I can decorate the yes. foliage. Yes. Oh, that'll be so pretty. Yeah, I think so. We can have meals in here like we did last year. Yes, I loved it when we had the, the party before mummy's wedding in here. Yeah. And all the way along here was a huge table. It was a long one. It was so nice to be somewhere else. Different. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love eating in different areas of the chateau. It's mm. really fun. Well, I want to say thank you to Florence and to Ian for making that happen. Look at that. I don't understand. Why have you replaced diesel? We like diesel. Yeah. That's not diesel. <laughs> No, so much. No. It is uh, his uh, one in his year. He gets his puppy look, you know. He looks summer. <gasps> summer uh, puppy swim. look. He looks as though he's just had Botox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to get a closer look. I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. Look at that. And they did really good. It's oh, beautiful. It's, yeah, beautiful. It's, it's, it's head and it's ears and it's still. It's just a little bit longer, you know. So, okay. What do you think, Diesel? Is he happy? Yeah, he likes it. Oh, 
Diesel, you look magnificent. It's a very new French look for you. Yeah, it's a very French look. He <laughs> never had cut like this. <laughs> He's very French. Oh, Diesel. Oh, he can see again. Yeah, now you see his big eyes. He's got huge eyes. I'd never seen his eyes before. It's given him a bit of a spring in his step. Now he thinks, okay, I'm done with it. <laughs> Order the haircut now. So are they doing you next, Selma? Yeah, that's always how he, he looks at me. Okay, you, you take me to the hair cutter and you look like this. <laughs> Sorry, Diesel, it stays this way. <laughs> Who knew he was hiding those beautiful eyes under all that he's hair? he's so uh, 16. No, it's, it's incredible that he's 16. It shows how well you've looked after him. Potatoes. Yeah, these are the purple potatoes from our garden that Dan's just picked. Yes. Oh, that's going to be interesting. What are you cooking today, Natty? Um, what I'm doing? <laughs> An apple pie. <laughs> I had to change because we ran out of bananas, so I'm doing apple pie. Yum. Oh, we can do a hot uh, stones massage, you know? <laughs> They're warm, yeah. Oh. Well, the sun is really, really hot today. So. Yes. Hello, what have you brought me out to see? Well, we, we cleaned that up. And uh, you wanted there the fire pit. Yes. And to, uh, to storage the wood that we can burn. Yes. So. Oh, there it is. I started to collect all the stones from everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Really oh, it nice. looks very nice. I just want to explain to everyone why it's not in line with the door. And that is because the two doors in our garden are irritatingly not in line with each other. So the axis is off. And this fire pit is completely in line with the entrance door and the alleyway. So we're going to put a little hedge in front of the door at the end so that we don't notice that it's off centre and we can put a statue in front of the hedge right in the centre. Then everything's lined up. Selma, this is beautiful. Nice, yeah? So nice. Yeah. I had seen somewhere, I can try and show you pictures, it was houses like this, yeah. but they were raised really high off the ground. Yeah, I like that. Yeah? On the poles. Yeah. It is a proper chicken house from a proper chicken company. Would it be possible to make a frame to raise it up higher off the ground and with a little, little yeah. walkway yeah. going up for the and chickens? Also with, uh, I thought, maybe a little tower. Gorgeous. You know? Yeah. Fun little things, yeah. like whimsical things. Yeah, that they get, get, get kind of crazy, you know. Uh, they, they like yeah. that to jump around and to fly a little around. So if we count that one of those, because they only go in to sleep at night, if we count that a house that size will do for three chickens, uh, so and depending on how many chickens we want, therefore we'll need more houses, obviously. I bet I can make a, a one big one and then you're fine. I think it'll be prettier to have lots you, of little you want to look, because oh, it'll look like yeah, a little that's, that's, village. That's good now. That yeah, I yeah. No, there's not. It wasn't actually for um, the practicality. It was more because it would be mm. so cute. And they they don't have to be uh, pushed inside. They go by themselves. They go by uh, themselves. We don't need to okay, shut the doors. So you want uh, um, more little houses? Yes. You can find ideas. Yes, definitely. Me. I'll find some because we have the wood here. I only need the wood for make a frame, you know, so that is not that expensive. Okay. And, and then, then you uh, think you could make the little yeah, houses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how fun. And we have from the, on the attic, there's a lot of uh, the, the same uh, stuff like that. That's on the roof. The, uh, tiles. The tiles. So we can use them. <laughs> Real little tiles. For, for on the roof. Because yes. Because then it's uh, the water safe. Okay. That's, okay. Uh, that's great. So I'm going to look up some hen houses. Yeah. Exciting! <laughs> and I love the fire pit. Yeah. Imagine we'll be able to have our marshmallows around the fire with the chickens just pecking at our feet. Well, and also we need, uh, yeah, we need a new fence because yes. this is not good anymore. And then, uh, yeah, later you can make it uh, nicer with something in the front. Yeah? Yes. Well, as Dan keeps chickens, he might know yeah. how high it needs yeah. to be as well. That's true. Yeah. We'll ask Dan get that put in and then think about exactly how we're going to disguise it on this side to make it more beautiful yeah. in this part of the garden. Yeah, maybe the same as that, I don't know. We could do, we could plant box or we could, yeah. we could do an espalier fruit trees all the way along or we could do a trellis with something growing over it. So there's a few options. Yeah. Well, this is exciting actually. It's going to be a nice area. Yeah. It's good to clear another area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're moving forward. The figs are out. Yeah, it's a lot, you see. And we couldn't get here before because of all that high grass. And now we're going to be able to have lots and lots of figs. Oh, yeah. 
in another month or two maybe. Yeah, loads up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's covered, laden. And this one has become very nice. Oh, I love this. I love what you've done here. Yeah. Round, round. Solmar cleared this whole area yeah. and the branches were very low, but by cutting them back, he's made almost a, an arched walkway. Yeah. It is Amazing. really lovely. Yeah. Just lovely. And it's covered in apple trees. Yeah, I can bake pies. <laughs> Your apple pie is the best apple pie in the world, genuinely. Um, but to have sort of upright posts on this side, so it really becomes the full, the full arch. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's possible to, uh, to make them that it stays. I don't know. If we just had um, posts, we could tie them to the top of the posts. And then it would just keep that arch shape, something like that. Yeah, I have to look it up. And I love the um, pink apples. They're looking so pretty here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear they're all going pink. They're all different, eh? Yeah. I think it's still a bit young. It looks quite small. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a little longer. Yeah, it's too dry. Hmm. And I don't know which kind this is and what you do with it. Maybe Honestly, it... no idea. All of these apples were here when we moved in. Ah. Maybe it's just for baking, you know. And what are we going to do with it? <laughs> because it's a lot, eh? Selmar's apple pie. Yeah. With every single apple. I can't mm. think of anything an apple should be made into more than Selmar's apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> but also it's nice to make the, the apple... Uh... No, Selmar's apple pie. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> no, but seriously, what would you rather have? Apple compote or? Apple pie. Apple pie, right? Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I just tried one as well and they are baking apples. Yeah. They're very sour and quite hard. Yeah, that's good. But for delicious, yeah. yeah. It's good for baking. Perfect for the kitchen. Wow. I have a little secret to show you. Come on. Ooh. Yes, you can. I'm in the secret. You're in the circle of trust, Selma. This is a big moment. It's the little secret. It is difficult to see, admittedly. Admittedly. Uh, let's have a look. Tomatoes! Look. There's lots. Mummy, there's oh, loads. Yeah. Oh, you see them? Yes. For once. And they're only grape tomatoes, so they're ready, aren't they? No. They have to be completely purple. No, no, they're completely not. purple. They're still very hard. But they stay that size. Look. I cannot believe that's a tomato. How amazing is that? It's, it's I've amazing. never seen them before and no. they, they were sent from America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at them. Now that is exciting. It's going to be delicious in a salad. It'll be so pretty. It looks it's like they're still very hard. Yeah, so they do. They are, that's exactly what they look like. Yeah. Mini aubergines. Yeah, like, yes, they are. Oh, oh, and it's all of them are covered. How will they taste? Can't wait to try. Yeah, but what's the secret? It's a good excited. secret. Yes, that's lovely, yeah, isn't it? And have you seen Selma's fire pit? I have. It's splendid. And yes. we've been planning the chickenopolis. Yes, you've always wanted. Yes, it's oh, going to be good. Okay. <laughs> she has. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, wow! Yes. And now it's happening. Chicken village. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm starting to leave the onions. I find see. that a little sad because I found them so pretty. Yes, yes. But eating them will also be fun. Mm, looking good. Yeah, they are. They're looking good. Big. Ooh, it's going to be good. And the beans are wonderful, except they're full of strings, so nobody wants to eat the beans. <laughs> what do you think of the new mower? Well, it is superb, isn't it? Absolutely superb. And the actual, um, it, it's flashing the light. Now I'm told when uh, the petrol is low. Oh. So I've got to top it up. So you won't oh. have to rescue That's Mummy. That's why I stopped it. Oh, okay, great. Because mm. Mummy used to run out of petrol all over the place yeah. and Salma used to have to rescue her. Then I take the, the thing and put the petrol in and walk <laughs> to Mummy and fill it up. And, oh, and again and again. I'm mostly working on, on optimism. And it is always empty if she's not here. No, oh, it's bound side. to be over yeah. there. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's not going to happen anymore because you have a warning light. Absolutely. I well, have a warning light. Honestly, 
Spending the most I have ever spent on a vehicle in my entire life was worth it just for that warning light, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dear me. Yes, this is the rose we received, do you remember? Yes, yes, it's very, very From pretty. Juicy. Yes. And the other one has been planted out, all doing very well. And the third one has not flowered, but is doing very well. And there are your cuttings. And some of my cuttings are still there. Yes. Most of my cuttings are here. Um, protected from the sun. Here, them there. Oh, Mummy, they're doing so well. Mummy, I am very, very impressed. And I see your sign from Dan is waiting to go up. My what? Your sign from Dan. Yes. Isn't it lovely? It's lovely. I So it should either be above the greenhouse yes. or here, above Which the door. Which would be more difficult. I think it should be anywhere on the outside. You want it on the outside so people know as they're walking in Indeed. that they're entering your domain. But it might be very difficult there. We don't need to drill into the stone. We could put it on with um, a, a very fine wire that goes around the stone so that we're not making a absolutely, mess in the stone. Absolutely, that's a good idea. Very good idea. That'll look lovely there. It does. <gasps> well, look at this kitchen team. Wow, who knew? That's what was going on in the yeah, kitchen. Let, let me show you uh, matching with the the wall. I like to blend in like a chameleon. Dun, 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 you can't see with I'm the here. curtains. It's a um, no chameleon. Chameleon? Chameleon. <laughs> what are the lucky people having today? Tuna pasta bake. Oh, I love that. Do you know that's actually one of my favourites? You've never heard me say the word favourite before, have you, Marie? No. It's my favourite. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, good. You're, lu you're in luck because you're getting something tonight. Yes. yes. I like to. It's what I cook it. Yes. She, she was just now. Uh, Can you taste this for me? Yep, okay, no, yeah. there's a cue, there's a cue to help you with that. <laughs> You're never going to be short of tasters. The stained glass window restore is back. Not, sadly yet, to be bringing one of our stained glass windows back, but to take a couple more away because she noticed that a couple of the windows that aren't of the main saints were also quite damaged. So she wanted to come back and remove those so she can restore them at the same time. Let's see what's been happening here. So we think this is John the Baptist who was in the sacristy and you see his poor face is almost completely gone. I think his face was the worst of all of them and he is going to go and be repaired. Must have been beautiful when it was first made with that lovely blue. But sadly as she was removing it Natalie noticed that that's not, that's not the Natalie in the house. She hasn't suddenly become a stained glass window restorer. <laughs> Natalie, the stained glass window restorer, has noticed that one of those stones just up there is falling and it seems to be holding in place, but it is changing the shape of the opening for the stained glass window. So that's something that we should get repaired. And it's hard to tell from here, but Natalie's also taken a couple of very small broken pieces out of the rose window. And for the rose window, she's going to attempt to repair just the individual pieces and put them back in place. But the big news is that St. Cecilia should actually be coming back next week or the week after, much sooner than we thought. So progress is really starting to be made now on the chapel. What's happening? We don't often see you so close to the kitchen, Dan. <laughs> well, we're just trying to get some of the herbs sort of sorted out for the kitchen and it know, is separate pots and so they're a bit more usable and all nearby that's actually really nice because obviously it's fine to go to the garden when you need to get vegetables and lots of things yeah. but quite often you're at the last stage of a sauce and you think oh i need a little bit of basil exactly, and yeah. i want to go all the way back you got signal <laughs> that's amazing it is, yeah, <laughs> you're weird. so lucky it's the first time ever <laughs> yeah. maybe it's a sign of good things to come in the future yeah good so what we've got mint a little bit of rosemary tucked in there. Mm. I think a couple of weeds. Uh, snail, not so edible here. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll leave you to get on. This is going to be lovely. What stage is this? Is that egg? It's, yes, egg and milk. We put it there. And that goes over a type of crumble topping. Yes. 
I've never seen a cake sugar. like this. Oh, you tried it before. Did I? You made this yes. one before here? Yes. How long ago? Two years. <laughs> <laughs> and a year ago as well when I came back. I'm I sure do. I, did it. Yeah. I remember your dessert, but I don't remember this specifically. Yeah, this, I love this, uh, this one. Really like it. You put it everywhere and then you put some sugar on it. Mm. And it stays like that and to the oven. Okay. The ones you've already done with sugar. Mm -hmm. I am so happy that you made three. Yes, of course. And look, even for measure, I use this. <laughs> yeah, so Natty and I love the Thermomix. Yes. Marie thinks it's of the devil, but we love it. Yeah. See, like that. And I measure. <laughs> And we're having this tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. If you're finishing with the edition of the two videos you had to do, <laughs> you will have a cake. You're so strict! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not allowed a cake if I don't yes. finish my editing. <laughs> you have to finish your editing. <laughs> okay, that's it. And to the oven. My is an oven, I was missing so much an oven. Mm -hmm. Taking photos in the window, so that's so pretty. Yeah, it's for you. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to say no one more time because it's the most gorgeous thing ever. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Okay, let's find a spot in my room. Please, let's find a nice spot that I can take some pictures in. That's pretty. Turn it around with the yes. front side. That's there the we front, go. isn't it? That. Yes. There we go. That's it. Ooh. So beautiful. And then you can look at it while you edit. Ashley goes well with the paintings, doesn't it? It does, it looks yeah. incredible there. Thank you, I love it. Good. <gasps> mm. Mm. I love the fact that you've mixed in herbs as well. Yeah, it gives you better. Gets you hungry, doesn't it? Oh, funny you should mention that. Uh, it's din din. Hmm. <laughs> It's absolutely delicious. Yes, I absolutely love it. Marie's mm. tuna pasta bake is a triumph. It's super creamy. I'm afraid there is a lot of cream. Mm, I think that might be why it's super creamy mm, and lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Mummy and I are eating in Mummy's apartment this week because Mummy's in isolation whilst we have the workshop. And I don't want to leave her all alone for dinners. So we're eating together, which is quite a treat. Mm. I'm coming in for a closer look. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, I see what you mean. The sugar goes all crispy on mm -hmm. the top. Look. Who's the last one to be collected? <laughs> like the last child at school. There was a massive diversion on the way. It really took an extra 20 minutes. Ah. I'm so sorry, I saw that. Alan. You're all alone like the last child at school. The last chicken in Saints Priest and Christmas. <laughs> so good to see you. And you, my baby. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Juliet, Juliet. <laughs> my heart, my heart, my kingdom from my heart. Oh, you're mixing your Shakespeare plays. <laughs> It's so close. It's no, it's super close. Well, up in Scotland, that's where they say. Please. <laughs> Hello, hand sanitizer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. <laughs> there was nobody at the airport. There was people coming out and they were saying, Are you okay, son? <laughs> <laughs> no I said, this is, <laughs> have you lost your mummy and daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I <was> like, yes. <laughs> I'm running wild. We have two concerts today, then. Yes, we have. Oh, is there a concert? Is that why you're looking so yeah, beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's it's you look very Fine, beautiful. No, absolutely. Final no, day. Nobody's seen you at all. Lovely. Is it on at the moment? No, uh, A bit uh, longer, I think. I was in Felix Tomorrow morning, do you need me? Tomorrow morning, I'm totally fine, Jerry. Are you Thank sure? You. Thank you, yeah. Scotland is here. <laughs> have no fear. Natty is a breakfast ninja. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Woohoo! <laughs> I've got back with Jerry just in time for the very last concert of the workshop. 
So let's go and see, finally, them perform the singing that we've been lucky enough to hear all week. And I think there might be an unexpected surprise guest appearance at the end of it. We're banking with Robin tonight. <laughs> I have to say, you are the most coordinated person here. It's all the shirt, doesn't it? <laughs> you two look like bandits. So we are going to start with Mozart, with um, Animon. Yeah. And then you will listen a lot of Francis Poulenc music, <laughs> French music. Um, Mixed with the Wolf, Schubert, Weber, Puccini, and yeah, I wish you a good concert. Thank you. Thank you.
A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande. Yadel and Ether, Alice, Allen, Anna, Brandon and John, Michael, Daniela, Dan, Banda, Denise, Behrens, Danel Benakovich, Linda C. Bradley, Veronica Castillo, Donna Davis, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Laura Damari, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, Jacqueline Holmes, Helen Jacobs, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Janet Hoff Lombard, Shannon Maitland, Meredith, Nina Messick, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Candy Robinson, Bettina Rojak, Hanny Ross, Barbara Schmelzer, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Nancy Simmons, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Brandy Walton, Aaron Windish, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.